three, two, one. Happy New Year! Woo! Holy sh! So, from the safety of these catwalks, the pioneers can monitor. So yeah, here's the inputs on the left and the outputs here. That looks lovely, I think. Alright, that should be sufficient, I think. Alright gamers, allow me to walk you through the Phase 3 completion plan. Back at the refinery, we're producing so much plastic that we're actually having to sink it because this thing is full. We've been focusing on the next stage of production and collecting all sorts of materials while also building out the foundations that will be necessary for these large factories I have planned. For instance, you can see I've collected quite a lot of circuit boards. I've got about 200 computers and almost 200 heavy modular frames. And I'm going to use all those to make more refineries, more fuel generators, sort of thing that we need. Ooh, I can unlock the gas novelisk. Sure, why not? Hang on, I'm going to try to aim it with the jetpack. Yeah! <laughs> uh, it's the little things, you know? Uh, now I can get some uh, medicinal inhalers, thankfully. Wow, I just realized because of how sloppily I made this, I forgot to hook up a couple of these. So they've just been holding on to all these frames. <laughs> they collected quite a few of them. Don't you guys think this game, like... It's like ASMR for the eyes. Like, just look at it. So yeah, it's not a bad stash in here. As you can see, I have basically everything I need to build whenever I need it. I just grab some stuff from these crates. Well, allow me to show you how we go logging in Alabama. Just chuck a couple of them high explosives down. It'll take care of it right easy. Boom, go, 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 go. Yep, it's just as w simple as one, two, boom. It works for flora and fauna. And the best part is it's very eco-friendly. Ain't that right, Mr. Slug? Yep, that's just me cracking open a cold one with the boys. Gotta get my tractor out here. Great place for hauling. Hey, excuse me, Mr. Hog, this is private property. I am within my legal right to blow you the fuck to smithereens. God bless the Constitution. Oh, fuck! That was not intentional. Well, I'm out of my high explosives, so I guess I'm done deforesting this place for now. Just give it the old yeet! Yeah, yeet! Oh god, my cat wants my explosives. Three, two, one! Happy New Year! Woo! Not bad. Yeah, I bet you didn't expect C4 to the brain. Nobody ever expects that. <laughs> Not even that guy. Holy crap, you can rocket boost in this game. Oh, that changes everything. Not really, I mean, it was, it's just a little boost, but that's pretty cool. If you got some cactus or a piece of wood sticking out of your ground, call up the call up the Spork Demolition Company, cause you'll be we'll settle you right up and get done. Time to search for some hard drives with this new feature on our little scanner here. Oh, what's on this mountain over here? Oh, there's definitely a hard drive nearby. I just want to know what's at the top. I've got to know. Ah, it's fucking uranium. Oh, please no. Oh, holy shit, jump scare.
Well, see you later, I guess. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Bro, he took like a hundred bullets. What the hell? Thank you very much, Lee, for the hard drive, though. Man, I need an extended magazine on this rifle. Constantly reloading. There's a lot of fucking slugs in this bitch of an earth. Oh, I've got some good options here. I gotta go with the Caterium wire though, I think. Or Crystal Computer, perhaps? Yeah, Crystal Computer seems kind of busted to be honest. I'm gonna grab that. So my old Caterium wire factory just wasn't cutting it. So we had only four constructors. Um, definitely not good enough. So I made this little boy here. Ten constructors, ten smelters. Yeah, it's pretty epic. All I gotta do is turn the little baby on. And look at that, we're smelting. Oh, production is starting. Yeah, and wait for the second belt to start. Yeah! Did I overdo it? Yeah, almost certainly. But I can probably plug in another Caterium miner to this belt here, and then I think it should be able to take up to about like 400 something. I don't know. I'm not that worried about precision because as you can see, this isn't like the most beautiful factory ever. It's just sort of something I'm slapping together. Tell you boys what, why don't we just freaking power this thing right up? 480 per minute. Oh God, I don't have any. Okay, I'll be right back. Just make these all mark four belts. Why don't we? Now we got a nice 480 ore per minute coming in. Does that look blurry for some reason? I think it's my video settings. Oh yeah, that's a shit ton of wire now. Sir, I think I have something for you. Something that might settle this problem we have. Oh, you are resilient, aren't you? I'm just trying to make sure you never come back to my factory again. Alright, that should be sufficient, I think. Holy shit! I think he's dead! Isn't nature beautiful? Bro looks like a fucking walnut. At least I can still bounce on his corpse. Honestly, I thought those guys were just invincible. That kind of surprised me when he died. Which is weird to say because I literally loaded him with high explosives. But you know. You've spit for the last time, motherfucker. Alright, I've collected a whole bunch of shit. I'm gonna make some refineries and whatnot. You may have noticed that I've spruced up the appearance of this place a little bit with some white walls. I don't know, it kinda it looks meh. Like I think I'm gonna, obviously I'm gonna upgrade my storage facilities a second time because this isn't gonna cut it for the late game. Also this fucking rock annoys me. All right, I've given Gerald a name. Now he's no longer just an annoyance, he is a purposeful feature of this establishment. He is my pet. And he is intended to have a threatening aura. Do not fuck with Gerald. Alright, so here at the oil field I'm gonna go ahead and overcharge this bitch. Then I can make these Mark II pipelines so that they can pump. 
According to my calculations. <laughs> I only need uh, six more refineries here. Using this recipe to make some fuel and some polymer resin. And then we should be consuming all the oil that is coming out of this pipeline. 600 meters cubed per minute. This is kind of neat. Look at how you can see underneath all my rows of refineries and you can even slide under them. Or I guess just run underneath them. Huh, cool. Oh no, I'm trapped in the machinery. Oh, this is how every live leak video starts. So now I should be producing 240 extra fuel per minute, which is going to take a whopping 20 fuel generators to use. So, uh, <laughs> uh. for now, I'm just going to sink all this excess polymer resin. Uh, I could make it into some extra plastic or rubber, but right now I don't really have the need for that. Uh, I'm also probably going to redo all this refinery setup, as you know how it is. Uh, it's all kind of just laying it out flat right now. I'll make it neat, nice and purdy at a later date. But I did have enough materials for my 20 extra fuel generators, and I think this will satisfy my energy crisis problem so I can focus on making more factories. Factory! In this game, I find it particularly challenging to decorate large amounts of machinery like this, so this is going to be a new thing for me. I need to make a quick blueprint real quick. Luckily, I had the materials to make a blueprint designer right here. I don't have to go back home. So I'm going to take power from this line that I've already got going to these generators. Just right over here and uh, hook them all up to this row here. All right, I think everything's hooked up. Last thing to hook up now would be our fuel input. Oh, it is exciting. <laughs> yes! Yes! It's a couple fuel generators, you could say. So over here on the left is before they started up, which is about 2,700 megawatts. Now on the right, getting up to 3,900 megawatts already. Oh! <laughs> All right, well, hopefully it is not too naive to say that I think I solved our power problem. Of course, it annoys me that it's so unstable. But what matters is that it's much higher than the max consumption right now. One thing I've definitely taken note of is that my iron factory is not at all good or efficient. Of course, it's not. But so we're producing about 720 iron per minute. Uh, and I think it's not all really getting used up. I'm trying to split that between three belts, as you can see. So I'm going to have to do some logistics planning for this. I have to admit, though, it is a nice view and a, quite a satisfying build. Oh, I think a lot of the problem was that these belts needed big upgrading. These machines need 100 screws per minute, which the Mark 1 isn't even capable of doing. All right, I haven't been home in a while. Let's check on it, see how everything's going. All oh, the slugs are still racing. How wonderful is that? Yep, everything looks good. Everything's normal. Uh, I'm so grateful to have such a lovely home. Man, it's going to be so sick when I get the factory cart. This is like a giant skate park, basically. Finally, I can exact my revenge upon the fart plants. You want to try and fart on me one last time? For old time's sake? Alright. See ya, bitch. Have a nice sleep. Finally, I've connected the road from our Schmelko plant to the base. Just goes right back down here. To be honest, guys, most of the times when I played this, I didn't spend much time at all decorating things. So if I'm a little bad at it, that's why. That being said, I am kind of proud of this building and that building. I think they look pretty neat. 
but it's just a little baby guy. I mean, I need big buildings. I'm hoping to make maybe a big tower. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I just shot my pipeline. gamers I've also upgraded the appearance of the power plant Schmelko as you can see it's now sporting some nice steel roofs and oh get a peek in there wow it looks totally different Ooh, there's a walkway and as the Sun sets you can see I've set up some ambient mood lighting in here it's even customizable can make it moodier if we so desire. Here's what the front now looks like as you enter. You see we've got catwalks going all around. There's a little walkway for pioneers. Enter here. I've also numbered the rows of coal generators. You can see the coal flowing. So from the safety of these catwalks, the pioneers can monitor each set of coal generators here in their little glass boxes now. I've also got little walkways as needed for servicing each one or checking on their status. Here's a walkway. And the third walkway here. The second walkway also leads all the way to the back entrance. In here you see we have a nice view of each one of these coal generators. Here's what the water generators look like. I've just color coded them basically. There's a little back window now. And a service door that you can go through. So through the service door. You can see the one of the pipes going here and there's a little ladder, a little staircase up here. And here we get a nice view. There's our water pipes pumping. So yeah, that's what the factory looks like now. Looks pretty good, I think. Definitely an improvement. Here, here is it during the day. So yeah, I've got all this refining action, so much fuel, ooh. Even though it's a little rudimentary, it still doesn't look too bad. Alright gamers, allow me to walk you through the phase 3 completion plan. So as you can see, we need 2500 versatile frameworks. And that will require 30,000 steel beams, which is pretty crazy, and 2,500 iron frames, or whatever that's called. For the 500 modular engines, we need 1,000 motors, 1,000 smart plates, and a lot of rubber. Actually, let me go ahead and uh, calculate that for you. All right, it's only 7,500. It pales in comparison to the 30,000 from <laughs> the other one. And lastly, we're going to need 100 adaptive control units, which will require 1,500 automated wiring, I believe that's called. Yeah, 1,000 uh, circuit boards, 200 heavy modular frames, and 200 computers. I think it's time to load up the old truck and take a load over to the space elevator assembly parts factory. All right, I knew I shouldn't have gone off road in with my truck. So I'm going to start working on assembling all these space elevator parts. Uh, let's see, maybe I make a way to get there from here. Go off-road again. 
Here's all my little mini factories for the space elevator parts assembly. This one's for smart plates. That one's for automated wiring, and this is for versatile framework. So I brought over a bunch of stuff to make our smart plates, so I'll just chuck all of that into these crates. Let that start going. If I need 30,000 steel beams and we get 200 per stack, I need 150 stacks of steel beams. So here I am at my steel receptacle, collecting all the steel beams I can find. It's quite a hefty number I've got from here. I don't know if it's 150 stacks, but we might have that stored away in the storage facility. Excellent, now I can just fill this one up with the steel beams. Now I need to go get all the frames. Alright, I'm back with another truckload of supplies. Got some cables for the automated wires. As well as a good couple of these stators, however you say it, still don't know. Yeah, I'm collecting some rubber just because I know I'm going to need it for later. And then fill this one up with our modular frames. And just like that, the first space elevator parts are coming in. Here they are. Yay! Alright, check it. Two manufacturers right here for the other space parts. I can't fucking... I don't know why I can't say that. The space elevator parts. Alright. Modular engines here. Collecting the smart plates from the smart plate factory. We have motors from a small motor factory nearby. Uh, rubber from the oil place and we got them going. Meanwhile, the ACUs are a little more complicated. So I might just chuck in some of these parts. They only use one per minute. So I can come back in 30 minutes and uh, bring back more. But the circuit boards, I have plenty of those, and the automated wiring is going to come straight from this one right here. It's a little spaghetti-ish. But spaghetti's delicious, you know what I mean? Sometimes when you're really fucking hungry, spaghetti's the only thing that gets the job done. Alright, I got my uh, 1000 circuit boards. So that's done. Might as well mark it as such. Yes! And this spaghetti will bring us to the next phase of production. Anyway, I'm gonna let all those machines over there run and collect all three parts that we need for the next phase for the space elevator. I've collected quite a few tickets here, let's see. Oh, I really want this factory cart. Fuck it, YOLO, as the kids say, you know what I mean? Let's get this thing. Oh, you have to craft it here. I was confused for a moment, like... Where is it? <laughs> it's so fucking tiny. Oh my god. These developers know what they're doing, dude. Ooh, got some air. Holy shit. Alright guys, this is my skate park. Uh, I haven't mastered it yet. Luckily this thing's like a fucking weeble wobble, it never fucking falls down. Damn, I can really get some air with this thing. <laughs> it could go across one little beam. <laughs> Yes. Oh, hello. Nice. Oh, I wonder how uh, difficult this would be over a long... Oh, well, there's my answer. Here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, sexy boys, this little factory right here is going to be dismantled now. I've dried up the inputs, and now I wait for all these things to dry up, and then I'll go ahead and dismantle all this. Because I'm going to make a new steel smeltery, a big foundry building. 
for future use in the next phase. So as you can see up in the top right corner there, all my machines have been running very well. Got already 700 versatile frameworks. And just like that, this little factory is done. It served me well though. There's only one solution for a bouncy back in the floor like this. No, stop trying to escape. Ow, you can't escape your destiny. What the fuck did you just fucking say about me, you little bitch? I'll have you know, I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEAL. Yeah, that's right. Oh, God. I got fucking audio problems again, and I'm pissed. There's a new steel foundry on the block. And this bad boy is capable of producing 480 steel ingots per minute. A level of steel production unprecedented in this world so far. So I can just go ahead and overclock one of our miners here to get 480 per minute. Now I just need to hook this guy up and hook the iron up and then we should be good to go. Alright, I don't know how much of that I lost because I had some audio issues, but welcome to the grand opening of the steel factory. This baby, if I mentioned it earlier, I don't know, but it's capable of 480 steel ingots per minute. And all that's left to be done is hooking it up. So here underneath the facility, just go ahead and attach these two conveyors here. Now that's iron and coal flowing in. Now as you walk into the facility, you'll see to the left over here. This is our power area, so I can go ahead and flip all our machines on. That turned on all the lights as well, so I can adjust these if I want. Okay, so power flipped on, lights flipped on. You can see it appears that things are now running. I got a little catwalk system right here where I can peek down at the machines below. But more importantly, I have a little system over here where I can monitor the input and output. So here's the coal and the iron flowing in at a rate of 480 per minute. And here's the steel ingots. Let me go ahead and uh, turn my flashlight on. There. Steel ingots are coming out also at 480 per minute. You know what? Kind of bothering me that it's facing that way. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> so, yeah, here's the inputs on the left and the outputs here. That looks lovely, I think. And right over here is a little pioneer area, and then here's where the excess sink and shipping occurs. So, all the steel comes here into this chest. Excess of it will go in here and what we need to use will be shipped out here Of course, I'm not taking any of it yet. So all of it's going to the sink There's also a little exit door that leads to a little walkway out here Yeah, I'm a little proud of it. I kind of threw it together in a couple hours, but oh, yeah There's also a service door down here. No lights down here yet, but you can kind of see this is where all the conveyors are. It's also where all the machines are down here. But for the most part, you don't have to go down there and actually deal with any of the machines or the nasty conveyors. Because everything's neat and tidy up here. Oh, it's so beautiful. We can just sit here and appreciate that for a moment. It's going to take a second to fully stabilize so it's not actually producing 480 per minute yet but it will oh it will so that's my latest factory creation and i figure this little bad boy will serve me well for the rest of the game just hook this thing up to whatever kind of steel constructor facility i need and we're good steal your Face. He will steal your face. Anyway, gamers, I hope you have a great one. I think that's probably going to cut it for this episode. 
But you can see that we've made significant progress on phase three, basically halfway. I haven't even come back to check on these uh, machines over here since dumping all those supplies in here. Let's see how much of this actually gone through. Oh, totally out of cables, I see. I'll fix that later. Anyway, hope you all have a great rest of your afternoon, morning, or evening, whenever time it is for you now. If you enjoy my videos, please give me a little like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It makes my day anyway. Peace!